Hello, everyone. I am Chen Si from Xiamen University. It's my honor to share our research sequential recommendation in online games with multiple sequences, tasks, and user levels. This work is conducted jointly with Qian Yuqiu, Li Hui, and Lin Chen. As sequential data become prevalent in recommender systems, sequential recommender systems, which is abbreviated as SRS, have attracted more and more attention. Although there are many SRS have already exist, these methods only model sequential behaviors based on a single sequence at single user level and doing single task learning. We call them triple S rack for short. Traditional triple S rack is shown in this figure. The blue timeline indicates a single purchase sequence, and the only task is to recommend the next item to purchase for the user. Actually, Triple S Rack is suitable for recommendation scenarios such as book or movie recommendation. However, our research focuses on the recommendation in online games, which faces unique challenges that Triple S Rack cannot handle well. Now I will give an example of Lego Cube games. This is a popular sandbox game developed and operated by Tencent Games. Players are encouraged to freely download area maps, explore these areas, construct with Lego bricks, and get involved in various tasks with friends. As such. For each player, four behavioral sequences are available. This figure illustrates how the SRS in Lego Cube organizes the data of multiple sequences for one player. The green timeline contains the downloaded map sequence of this player. The red timeline contains the corresponding map categories. The blue timeline contains the played map sequence of this player. The orange timeline contains the user-user interaction sequence of this player. And the meanings of the element in each sequence are different under the surface. For example, one map appearing in green timeline indicates that the player has downloaded the map. But it is not the indication of his or her preference, since SRS in the game may push maps to players based on some strategies. It is possible that players will download some maps that he or she does not feel interesting actually. From the example of Lego Cube. We can firstly observe that, unlike book or movie recommendation, where users can only adopt limited actions such as purchase or click, the action types are diverse in online gaming platforms. In Lego Cube, players are able to select map category, play maps, download maps, and do some social interactions. Conventional SRS cannot distinguish such heterogeneous information contained in multiple sequences, so they cannot achieve good performance. Secondly, there are five predicting tasks in online games which naturally arise from multiple sequences. The five tasks, including next map prediction, next category prediction. Next play prediction, next friend prediction, and next group map prediction. We need the last task because game operation engineers sometimes promote game activities to some specific user group instead of the individual user level. These tasks are all important for the game developer to improve user experience and increase revenue. While in conventional scenario, providers are only interested in a single main action type. Finally, most online games incorporate strong social factors that allow users to team up in battles. So, in order to deliver more accurate recommendations, SRS need to model multiple user level representations. 
The above challenges and the limitations of previous SRS motivate us to propose a new sequential recommendation model for multiple sequences, tasks, and user levels to fully utilize complex data in online games. This model is abbreviated as Triple M Rec. This is an overview of the Triple M Rec framework for sequential learning in heterogeneous recommendation scenarios. I will elaborate on details of Triple M Rec framework. This is a quick review of the Gated Graph Sequential Neural Network based Triple S Rec. Because our Triple M Rec is built on top of it. As shown on, on, as shown on the top left, each user action sequence can be viewed as a sequence graph, and then construct the adjacency matrix as shown on the bottom left. Given a uh, adjacency matrix, we can update each node representation by gated graph sequential neural network, which is a special GN unit. The update rules are shown on the right. The first four formula are gathering get, reset get, update get, and candidate activation, respectively. The edge in the last formula represents the updated node representation. This page shows how we encode a single sequence on the triple S rack. While in triple M rack, we consider the multi sequence and multi task scenario. As shown at the top of the framework, for multi-sequence and multi-task scenarios, we use different GGSNN units to model different tasks, although the GN units in different tasks are independent of each other. All tasks share the same user and item embedding layers. All the GNN units are trained together in the manner of multi-task learning. The details of the optimization will be illustrated later. In addition to modeling multiple sequences, Triple M Rack also models multiple user levels. This is because game activities are usually aimed at user groups rather than a single user. So it is necessary to learn multiple user representation level, including single users and user groups. As the framework shows, Triple M Rack is a hierarchical two-level recommendation architecture. The first level consists of task 1 to task n, and triple M rack recommends each item to each individual user. The second layer is task n plus 1, where triple M rack recommend item to user groups. To gather user group representation, we first run k-means clustering algorithm to divide user into k groups. And then we design an attention-based aggregation layer to aggregate the information from each group member and then construct the group representation. The aggregation rules are shown on the right. For multitask learning, we use the first formula to calculate the predict probability distribution for each individual task, where Q represents all candidate embedding depending on the detailed task. Then we use the crop entropy loss for each task. The loss of each task is weighted and summed up to get the joint loss. We optimize the joint loss using Adam algorithm. In experiment section, we evaluate triple M rack on real data of three online games in Tencent Games platform and verify the effectiveness of triple M rack for the traditional task of recommending next item in SRS. Our experiments are conducted in three online games on Tencent Games platform, including LEGO Cube and other two games anonymized as T-Game and Y-Game. This table illustrates the statistics of the data. For the offline tests, we evaluate hit ratio, mean reciprocal rank, and normalized discounted cumulative gain, which are commonly adopted in evaluating recommendation performance. To understand how each task contributes to Triple M Rack's performance, we test three multitask settings, as shown in this figure. We can observe that incorporating all auxiliary tasks generates the best result. It contributes to 29% of the top three results in Y game. 
45% of the top three results in TGAM and 73% of the top three results in LEGO Cube. On the contrary, combining only one task, such as frame task or type task, cannot produce length stable result. To understand how does Triple M Rack perform compared to the state of the art methods in offline datasets, we compare Triple M Rack with five methods as baselines in the offline test, as we can see from these tables. Triple M Rack performs consistently best in terms of all evaluation metrics on all datasets. This shows that Triple M Rack contains very promising accuracy in the top N sequential recommendations. To validate the Triple M Rack has indeed promoted recommendation performance, we conduct an online evaluation through an A-B test. The detailed experimental settings are shown on this page. From these results, we can observe that Triple M Rack significantly outperforms previously deployed competitors in terms of all evaluation metrics that are designed by the operation team. This clearly suggests the great potential of Triple M Rack in online gaming. In this paper, we identify and formally define a new multi-sequence, multi-task, and multi-level sequential recommendation problem, which is a practical problem existing in online games of Tencent Games platform. We propose a new framework, Triple M Rack, for sequential learning in the heterogeneous recommendation scenario using the ideas of GNN and multi-task learning. Online valuation in three games of Tencent Games platform illustrate the effectiveness of Triple M Rack. In the future, we plan to enhance the interpretability of Triple M Rack so that we can better understand the recommendation results.